Hi friends, this is Denaro Research and welcome to my new tutorial series. I'll start to cover one of the most beautiful trading strategies, statistical arbitrage, and we'll apply this strategy to cryptocurrency market. You know that technical indicators is not the only and frankly speaking very basic and inefficient way to analyze prices. There are a lot of advanced strategies that involve different methods from physics, econometrics, machine learning and statistics. Statistical arbitrage is one of these advanced strategies and in order to successfully implement it and create some profitable bot, you have to be good in mathematics. Let's try to figure out what is statistical arbitrage. It is a market neutral strategy that involves opening long and short positions simultaneously to take advantage of inefficient pricing of connected securities or in our case cryptocurrencies or coins. I have highlighted several important points in this definition. The first one is market neutral strategy. That means that statistical arbitrage doesn't care where price goes. You can make money when market moves uptrend, downtrend or sideways. The next important point is opening long and short positions simultaneously. It is actually the consequence from market neutral strategy definition, which means we use hedging. When we open long position, we have to hedge this position with short and vice versa. When we go short, we have to open long. And finally, what is connected pairs or securities or coins? We can use two types of connection. The first one is fundamental, which is based on cryptocurrency utility value like decentralized application platform, store of value, international remittance, uh, and so on. And another type is statistical. It may be some correlation, or in our case we will use co-integration. Typically, when we apply simple trading strategies, we have already predefined list of pairs we want to trade. We use these pairs, look for trading signals, and if some signal happens, we place order. In case of statistical arbitrage, we don't have this predefined list of pairs. We have to build it by finding connected pairs among hundreds of cryptocurrencies. And per my opinion, this phase is the most difficult part of statistical arbitrage strategy. In this introductory video, I'll briefly go through all these stages to give you understanding how statistical arbitrage works. And in the upcoming videos, We'll cover all these topics in details. Let's look at these two charts. The upper one is Bitcoin against US dollar and the lower one is Litecoin against US dollar. These are two real charts taken from Bitfinex. Bitcoin and Litecoin are of course fundamentally connected, but we don't have confirmation yet that they are co-integrated. So let's assume that they are. How do we profit from price inefficiencies in this case? Let's look again at these two charts. As you see, prices move similarly. So if you try to calculate correlation coefficient, we'll figure out that they are highly correlated here. But in the beginning, Bitcoin price moves sideways and Litecoin price goes up and then suddenly drops. We can buy Litecoin somewhere at this point and simultaneously short Bitcoin. And when Litecoin price returns to certain level, we'll close both positions. So we'll sell Litecoin and buy back Bitcoin, profiting from this divergence. At this part of chart, Bitcoin price has suddenly fallen, while Litecoin moves in steady downtrend. So we could go long Bitcoin somewhere at this point and short it with Litecoin and when Bitcoin price returns to its normal, we'll close both positions and we'll profit again from divergence. Now let's figure out when we should open positions and close them using some randomly generated chart data. Here is randomly generated chart data for two fake cryptocurrency pairs, X and Y. As you see, prices move Similarly, also, correlation is also very high, but the only difference from Bitcoin and Litecoin chart 
is that x and y are cointegrated. In order to find trading signals, we have to create another synthetic pair from x and y. And this synthetic pair is called spread. Why do we need this spread? Probably you have experience in trading with technical indicators. For instance, when price moves sideways, you can use Bollinger Bands, and when price closes above upper band, you go short, when price closes below lower band, you go long, and close your position when price returns to mean value. This strategy works when price only moves sideways. When it trends, strategy fails. Similarly happens when you apply moving average strategies like Blade Runner or Crossover. They both work fine when price trends up or down and completely fail when strategy moves sideways. The main reason of these failures is that price movement is stochastic non-stationary process, which means that its mean value and variance are not constant. That is why we need to analyze something stationary that has constant mean and variance. In our case, spread is stochastic stationary process. We will calculate spread using this simple formula. Spread equals price of y pair minus price of x pair multiplied by some magic coefficient. We'll have a dedicated video where we'll discuss how to find this magic coefficient. But for now, let's assume that it equals to 1. And here is our spread chart. This is stochastic stationary process with constant mean and variance values. That means we can apply simple statistical methods to find trading signals. We will use this score. It is something similar to Bollinger Band. This score tells how many standard deviations spread value is away from its mean value. If this score value is too high or too low, that means X and Y prices diverge from their mean value. And if this score value is somewhere around zero, so that means X and Y prices returned to their mean value. So here is our trading signal. When this score gets to 2 or higher, that means we'll open long position on X pair and hedge it with short on Y pair, and vice versa. If this score drops below minus 2 or lower, we'll open long position on Y pair and hedge it with X pair. And when this score returns to 0, we'll close all positions. Well, that was a brief explanation. Terms like cointegration, stationarity, magic coefficient, and this score will be covered in details in upcoming videos. One more thing needs to mention that statistical arbitrage is not a risk free strategy. That means we have to plan stop losses. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos, and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye.